Dresden. Sorry, I didn't expect any corp visitors at this hour. And some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise's area's coroner, too. And you are? Flandry. I'm here about Sam Watts. His grin fades. What makes you think I know anything about that? Sam had a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. It's, he's here. Not too many people know about that murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So who told you he was dead? <coughs> Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raises his eyebrows, a smile wiping the suspicion from his face. A dead man switch, eh? Fascinating! I was working on, on him earlier. He's over here. Dresden's a bit of an eccentric. But he's actually one of the, He is actually a pretty good, decent guy, actually. He's my second... He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Emerald City... Emerald City Ripper? He sighs. Not my title. That's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. What prize did the Ripper take from Sam? Watts' liver was cleanly cut out. How about the other lucky contestants? The first victim's heart was messing, and the third had the spleen removed. Yeah. McCluskey. Dresden, get out here! McCluskey is, is, is the game's resident asshole corrupt cop, basically. Awesome. Is he wearing a suit? Oh, yeah! I'm here about the new Ripper Vic, Sam Watts. V Ripper Vic, Sam Watts. Okay. Oh, let's first look on here. I should mention. I even picked up basic med kit. I should mention. Uh, McCluskey. The police in Seattle are not are. Uh, police and security is in the municipality of Seattle is done by actually done by a private firm called Lone Star, which is uh, a private security company that's responsible for. Law, law enforcement in a lot of uh, major cities. So they're... Uh, so he's um, so he's an employee of what is technically a private corporation, although that corporation is then contracted by the government. So he, he's, he does have powers to, of, you know, arrest and whatnot. Sam's body is half covered by a sterile surgical sheet. His face is face in ashen white, for the first time without a smirk on it. Below the chest, there's a small, pencil-thin incision covered in dried blood. Beyond that, the corpse is immaculate. It seemed the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him, and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found on his body. You can examine, you can examine evidence through the bag without spoiling it. Okay. Look at the business card. Moving things around, you can make out, a, make out that it's a card from a place called the Seamstress's Union. There's something illegible on the back. But there's something written, handwritten on the back, but blood has made it illegible. Look at the cred stick. Cred sticks are these small electronic devices that you can use to like, transfer money from one account to another. Kind, they're kind, they're kind of, kind, I don't know, kind of like, uh, like, like debit cards, sort of, but more widely used. And you can like, and like one cred stick can like pass money right to another. It's standard, cheap, unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's on it without slotting it. Take the cred stick. You slot the cred stick into your PDA. 300, 300 million is added to your account. Sweet. See, this, is, this trip to Seattle's already paying for itself, Nick. Look at the purple shirt. It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing, and blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. Look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits and bloodstains. Sam, I feel terrible that we arg... Dash, dash, dash. Bunch of words missing. We have been dash too long, dash, dash, to say I'm sorry, dash, dash. See you there. Love, Jessica. Those aren't the... Okay, so someone... Ter I feel terrible that we arg... Argued, perhaps? Yeah. Someone named Jessica wants to see him. And apparently apologize. Who could Jessica be? Alright, here's Officer McCluskey. 
Towering over the diminutive coroner is, homicide detec is a homicide detective right out of central casting, if you ignore the tusks, pointed ears, and Neanderthal brow. You can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. McCl so this new Ripper Vic, Watts. Watts. Name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill him? Kill herself a while back? Dresden. The, the coroner frowns. So you insisted at the time. McCluskey. He chortles. Come on, she offed herself. They had it on very good authority. This comes up later. His mother. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. This Ripper case is my ticket to a lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. Perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel. Scalpel. It's a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So, I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who still use scalpels th anymore. These days it's all done with computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You know, I have to say, if there's one person I would not want to fall into the clutches of, it's an antique medicine aficionado. Ugh. You know? Well, I think it's by modern medicine, medical standards. Antique medicine now is like pouring sulfur directly into open wounds. <laughs> just sawing off whole limbs. Yeah. With the saw that you just used on to saw off someone else's whole limbs. Yeah, God, you know, uh, Saving Private Ryan, ugh. You're no damn help, Dwarf. The Lone Star Detective finally notices you. You note his superhuman powers of observation. Who the hell are you? Now, notice, um, there's a blacked out option here. It says, Strength 4, none of your business, Lumpy. It's like I said, if you have a high, a lot, some cases if you have high physical strength, you can intimidate people in conversations. But I don't have that. Are you the detective? Let's see here. I'm new in town. You the welcoming committee? If you're new in town, then let me be the first to tell you that I run the show. If you're in my way, you'll end up back here on a slab. He looks back at the dwarf. Dresden, get me more. I am putting someone in a cell or box this week and claiming my promotion. So yeah, McCluskey's not so much interested in justice as he is just pinning it on somebody so he can look good. See what Dresden wants to say. Dresden looks amused. Do you always make friends this easily? I don't do friends. He cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You really gonna work for the dead man? I'm gonna bring his killer to justice. At least street justice. The other takers in this game? I can only hope so. <laughs> Fascinating again! Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He could get to his own mother if it meant another ten million a week on his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden Another pauses. ten million. Ten million. Oh, ten million. So, yeah, like a couple bucks. Oh, wow. He'd sell his grandma for a figurative nickel, as they say. <laughs> Plus, he's on the take. Dresden pauses, considering. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. How can I do to help you? On the take, who's paying to hold his leash? I don't know. But somebody with some major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? Sam's mother was a saint! Dresden, the official report is that she committed suicide about a year ago. You don't buy that? My name's on the report, but my actually fi actual findings left some doubts. Can't say it wasn't suicide, but there are unusual bruises on her upper arm, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I did. What are organs worth these days? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of million, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore, what with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days. Organ Grinders only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though. They don't care where the bodies come from, either. Oh, so this one does care. This is, I guess, more ethical than some of the others. Well, like I said, Dresden is actually a, is, he's, he's creepy as hell, but he is actually a decent guy. <laughs> Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. You heard of the Seamstress's Union? It's probably it's a nearby club in the Barrens that attracts lowlifes. You'd probably like it. Hey, I thought we were friends, Dresden. Me, I'm not really the outgoing type. Always too much to be done around here. Plus, the dead are just easier to get along with. I just need to know one more thing. 
Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks at you in ten... Oh, two, I gained two karma. For obje completing the objective. Dresden looks at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? Okay, then. I'll go... do that. Now, we're about to meet a familiar face for people who've played the old Super NES Shadowrun. Uh, basic med kit. Dock wagon trauma kit. Basic trauma kit. All right. Something in this... Me? The cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Which is what, about 70 Fahrenheit or thereabouts? Yeah. I think so. Open the drawer. I think 20 is a comfortable room temperature. Yeah. Open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. Hey, the Undertaker did kill him. Oh, God. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Oh, God, he's a ginger. <laughs> Jake, Arma Jake Armitage. Whoa, easy there. In, in one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. You spot a data jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. Okay, the reason that's an interesting combination is remember what I said about your es essence? That's one of your stats. It affects, like, the more essence you have, the better you can use magic. Right. Thing is, everyone naturally has essence six. Your essence goes down if you have cyberware installed. Okay, so so it's unusual that a shaman would have a data jack implanted because usually a shaman would, would want to keep his body as completely natural. Right. Now the reason I say Jake is an interesting face, as a familiar face, is that he was the hero of the Super NES game. Oh. And that and in that game he begins the game on a morgue slab. <laughs> because because in the intro you're gunned down by unknown assailants, and drag but then like healed. Someone, like, puts some healing spell on you, and then you're dragged off to the morgue, but you're not actually dead. You awake on the morgue slab with, like, most of your memory gone, and you have to figure out what happened. I should go back and play that movie. It's a, it's a really fun game if you can find a copy of it, yeah. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? It doesn't feel like 6 yet. Sorry, didn't expect you to be so... alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I notice you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? Latest Britain victim. I'll ask the question. What the hell are you doing in a morgue drawer? <laughs> well, plain dead, mostly. A bunch of gangers out there want my head, and I'd rather keep it. Figured I'd lay low for a while, give them some time to cool down. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John! Is this guy cool? I just thought the idea of just some guy yelling across a morgue. Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. Thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright then, the name's Jake, and you are? Call me Flandry. 